I just got our split, and I am unfortunate to say that it wasn't very good. I wasn't, you know, expecting it to be that weak as far as things went in terms of the ending and the direction that it went. With that being, you know, said, I did like the way the characteristics of James McAvoy's character was portrayed with the multiple identities and some of the one-liners in the film definitely made the film a bit more amusing than I was expecting. But I will say that the trailer definitely made up for the film's issues than the film itself. Especially when you consider that the pace and a lot of the uh, situations in the film tend to wander in a sort of you know, don't breathe fashion. As far as I'm concerned, I saw number 10 Cloverfield Lane. It has nothing to do with Downing Street. But when I saw that film last year... I was coming from a perspective of someone who did not like Cloverfield, similar how I don't like M. Night Shyamalan movies. I don't like Signs, I don't like The Sixth Sense, I don't like Vizil, The Village, or any of that. But at least I gave Split a try, and I gave 10 Cloverfield a try, and 10 Cloverfield was actually pretty good. You know, not only because of Mary Elizabeth Winstead, but because of everything about it. John Goodman's character and the environment for his setting is very intense. And definitely pushes the 12A as far as it can. In the terms of Split, you know, which is the story about a bunch, uh, three girls who are held captive by a guy with multiple identities. He has a disassociative identity disorder. It just didn't really glue in altogether. I thought, you know, some work could have really been done as far as the ending is concerned. I will not give any spoilers because I know Shamalama Ding Dong is known for doing twists and turns. Here and now! Here and now! But, you know, yeah, that's his craft. I can't really criticize that. And I gave it a try mostly because of James McAvoy's character being so funny from the trailer. It just seemed very bizarre. But, um, you know, like I said, it, it didn't really fulfill expectations. And it's fair to say that I will not be putting this film on any list in the future. And we'll be waiting for a movie that I wasn't really excited to see called Lego Batman. And I, you know, came into a split kind of at the last minute. Um, so I'm not, I'm not so afraid to admit that. 